Let's see what else we have going. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, okay. You've got honeymoon. Honeymoon fees are attending someone's wedding. All right, let me fix my camera because I had a blooper and I purposely left that blooper in because that was hilarious. <laughs> All right, let me just put that there. Okay, you've got honeymoon. So what's going on? I know some of y'all were getting married yesterday. So I don't know, maybe you'll be on your honeymoon like right after, which is typical. Let me just see here. I want to give this a little bit of a, sh a little bit of a better shuffle before we get into this. What is this honeymoon? We're attending someone's wedding. Honeymoon phase. So it's a phase. It's like a, you know, the honeymoon phase. It's just, honey, let's go to the moon. All right. Yeah. There you go. The Hierophants. A Taurus. You might have a connection with a Taurus. We need to go, honey, somewhere where it's not cold. Um, you're going on some kind of a vacation. Or you're going on some type of trip with someone. Or they're spending some time together with someone. Taking off work. I know some people tend to take their vacations in January. Because it's like cheaper to go um is it i don't know somebody told me that maybe not but um some people do they take their vacation in january they they take an extended but some of you are, are seriously like there is a message here of you know what honey you know what babe let's just go tie the knot come on let's just go do it all right let's see okay been waiting a really long time Let's just go do it. We can't live like this anymore, I'm hearing. Okay, Queen of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Someone's been thinking about this. Okay, Aries energy. Someone could be on the cusp of Aries, Taurus. Yeah, there's definitely... Um, there's definitely like this joyous, happy phase happening in January. Going from feeling left out in the cold, um, having to put up strong boundaries, uh, someone feeling very hesitant and, and um, not sure, and then all of a sudden things switching around and somebody taking the lead or someone is just doing a lot of thinking and makes a decision. You know what? Let's, let's do this. Let's just get married. Let's just... Let's just go for it. It's a Thelma and Louise off the cliff energy. Who gives a shit? Let's do it. That's what I, that's the energy that I feel. Energy doesn't lie. Okay. Someone, we've been waiting long enough. Okay. King of Wands. Could be, for some of you, it's a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We've been waiting long enough. There's a reconciliation. You know what? Someone pop in the question? I mean, I don't see like a romantic offer being made here. It just kind of happens. Um, you might even, there might even be like some vacation or getaway. You could, might go somewhere and meet someone and then <laughs> spend like a weekend or something with them. And then you guys like instantly know, like, no, let's do this. We want to be together. But it's someone you already know, Virgo, because you have the Six of Cups here. Now for others, this could be a little bit different where you find out that someone's doing this and you're attending their wedding you're asked to be the um a bridesmaid or a maid of honor or a best man or something along those lines or witness so for some of you it's happening to you and for others it's happening for someone else and you're a part of it and for some of you you go to someone's wedding and you meet someone there i will say that or you reconnect with someone there okay that actually flipped out in reverse so you got the seven of wands wow virgo sagittarius energy there um hmm show a virgo why the seven of wands is here
Virgo, you're kind of like, no, <laughs> I don't want to. I'm not doing this. <laughs> Kelly, what are you talking about? No, I'm not doing this. <laughs> Virgo's like, you guys are like, no, this is crazy. This is too crazy. I'm not doing this. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Leave me alone. I'm busy. I'm not answering the phone. Don't talk to me. I'm not doing this. This is like, this is cuckoo stuff. Okay, Virgo. So if you're not going to do it, that's fine. Don't do it. But <laughs> you push, you definitely, you you push back a little bit here about the whole idea of this. And um, you're like, you know, just, just give me some space. I, I need to, I need to go figure this out because I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh, Virgo. Okay. Yeah. I'm free, free falling. Yeah. You're a fool. You look at somebody like, are you crazy? You're a fool. I'm not marrying you. We're not getting married. I'm not doing that. This is too off the cuff. It's so spontaneous. But you know what, Virgo? <laughs> I don't know. I don't usually like, well, it doesn't matter what I think. It really doesn't. I, I feel like you should. I feel like I, it almost, they're giving me this sense of like, this is something maybe you've been waiting for. And then it comes and you're like, no, ew, no. <laughs> you're like maybe the Virgo that like chases someone. And then as soon as they stop running, turn around to face you, you're like, ew, stop chasing me. <laughs> Virgo. <laughs> You've been wanting this. That's what I see. Now, if I'm wrong, that's fine. I, I can. I'm all, I'm all right with being wrong about you not wanting this. But I don't know. Someone who's being really honest with themselves as they're listening to this deep inside is, is their inside is saying yes, but their outside is saying no. But I'm not talking to your outside. I'm talking to your inside. And your inside's like, oh, I want to be. I want to be that person that's spontaneous. But I. It doesn't feel right, but I want to be that. And I want to just be a fool and just take off and just go with my lover. I, I've been waiting for someone to come along. If somebody comes along and, you know, I don't know, Virgo, maybe, you know, it's not quite exactly what you ordered. <laughs> you know, maybe they put pickles on your burger and you said no pickles, but now you're getting pickles. But the burger is like half the price and it's really good. So what are you, what are you going to do? Choose your battles, right? It, it seems like... I don't know. I don't know why. Why is Virgo? Why would Virgo be resistant? Because oh, Virgo, you don't trust. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. I'm not going to beat you up for that. That's fair. If you don't trust the person or if you don't trust the event, maybe you were ghosted or maybe somebody just kind of like you haven't talked to them in a really long time and they disappeared into the night. But at the same time, some of you might have been praying to have some type of reconciliation with this person or talk to them. Uh, we have Pisces here, Aquarius, Gemini. Maybe you've wanted to talk to this person and now they're coming up to talk to you and it's like they're doing more than talking. They want to like tie the knot or just go into like some kind of wild happily ever after in just one weekend or the week. I mean... You got the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. The energy is, is very fluent as far as our fluid, as far as just it wants to just like a, a breaking dam is how I feel like a dam breaking full of emotion. It's just very out of pocket, they're saying, or maybe somebody says that that's a phrase somebody uses a lot out of pocket. It's very out of pocket, but you're being asked to be spontaneous and go for it. Yeah, you got some sweet love coming in, Virgo. Some sweet fun. No, no, not the sweet fun. No, no, I'm going to have to think like you're internally stressing internally stressing you won't show it on the outside you're you know you're walking around with your lantern and your light and you're like hey everybody happy everybody's positive here's the light hope that kind of thing um but you're internally stressing about this and why because you don't trust because you you know for some reason i don't know virgo i like i listen there you are over analyzing i just feel like you, you just need to just 
say yes and go and do it. I feel like this was part of your reading the other day. And it just keeps playing out. January is like all about the love. Wait till February comes. Yeah, Virgo. So you're, there's definitely travel, love messages, communication, Cupid's arrows coming in from someone in January. This person is leaving behind other people or others or has left or will be leaving another person or just cutting others off and coming in your direction. This person is seriously taking up... Um, I want to say arms. Maybe they are in the military or something. They come back from deployment of some sort. Um, it's now or never is what I'm hearing. So you connect with this person. Like I said, it's some. maybe you're at a wedding or this person like somehow in some place is just like, come on, let's do it. Let's go for it. And it just kind of, like I said, it's very out of pocket. I feel like your one of your last readings that I put up was like shocking. There was some commitment coming in. It's just going to be shocking and just kind of throw you for a loop. And I don't know if they're still giving you the same message or if you have the specifics, if you're going somewhere. Let me see if I can find out exactly what sign this might be for someone. Uh, Libra. You could be reconnecting with a Libra. A Sagittarius and Libra again okay so a couple more cards and let's see how's this gonna turn out for Virgo do we even want to know we'll ask okay King of Swords two of wands and okay hmm well they're not really giving me the turnout except to say that um if this is an air sign or someone that's got air in their chart, like they're rising or their Venus or something, I mean, this person is, whatever sign they are, very serious. <laughs> they're very serious. About making plans. They're at this, they're at a crossroad. They're standing here. They're like, they got to choose a path now. They're sick of carrying around the burden. The heavy burden in their life they want to be with you i mean it's a good start i don't know virgo you only have one life left to live go enjoy yourself right go if you must go have a weekend and go get married for a weekend and then file for divorce later if you want just go and have some fun i can't even believe it's not me saying that i would never advise that but then again maybe you need to all right i'm gonna leave that there hey you guys thank you so much for watching my readings if you'd like to get a personal reading please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life.